Good morning everybody. Welcome to Cloudy Weymouth. It's Sunday morning, just half past eleven. We're out at the big garden. Now I've finished this. It's not brilliant. It's dirty. This piece I couldn't actually screw it onto onto there because the door wouldn't fit. Can you see all them little flies there? Don't know if you could see them. But anyway, yes, the door closes now from the outside and I can get them little latch things on. There we go. Now, I've got some stuff for the door but I can't do it today because it is so frustrating. It really is. So, I'll show you what I am doing. Now, I found these little copper strips. And there's a hole in one side. And let me show you what I'm doing. Oh. Let's go outside a minute. A bit bumpy. Right, my tomato trellis, I, last year I drilled some holes into the wall and I wanted to fix the um, trellis to the wall and the only thing I could find was these ones. But what I'm doing now is drilling a hole in the other side wrapping it round the post and screwing it into the wall so the wind will not blow it over so let's get on with that I think I've had two on that one one on that one one on that one one on that one and two on that one so I need two three four five with holes so let's get back in and do that right i haven't got the right drill for it i've got a masonry drill that's the only one i've got at the minute i shouldn't really be doing it on there hang on I just happen to have five, I think. Maybe shouldn't be doing it on this carpet either. But never mind. Like I said, what I'm going to do is wrap that round that post like that and then screw the screw back in. So, let's go and take you over there, see if I can show you. Everything's going a bit wrong for me today, so... Keep our fingers crossed. So, wrap it round, put the 
screw in the two holes and then hopefully Solid as a rock. Oh. Right, I'm going to get on with the rest of them. Yay, something went right for me. So one there, one there. One there. One there. One there, one there, and one there. Right, what next? Right, the other day I had a bit of spare time before I went home. And I put some boards on the bottom of these. And I filled that full of spent compost. So I'm just going to put some flowers in there. I'm not going to put anything that's edible in there because I believe this is poisonous or something. A poisonous dye. So I'm just going to put flowers in there. I've done them down the bottom. There. Got my tripod caught again. And right on the bottom there. So yeah. I can't remember whether it was yesterday or the day before that I sat you here and I said you can watch the um, potatoes grow and I said did you watch them and I said probably not but hey look pent and javelin so that's on its way up brilliant oh and Pink fir apple. Yay! So I shall have to be getting something to top them buckets up with. Let's see what I've got. Right, my peas are growing twice, twice, twice tall now. They are. So what I'm doing is I'm just pushing them over towards uh, the fence in there. Haven't done that bit yet, so I shall just show you how I do it. Uh, there we go. Just kick the bucket. By just pushing them like that makes them like bend over and they will get contact with that bit of fence in there. Yeah, they should grow up the um, up that fencing up this now, rather than going straight up or across here. Yeah, that's that done. All these little jobs that you get done, isn't it? It's so satisfying. I've covered them potatoes with just a tiny bit of compost that I had um, I'm hoping they, they're gonna cut the grass soon down on what they call the marsh which is like um, three great big playing areas and I go down there with my trolley and um, collect a lot of grass cuttings so yes once they do that I can get down there and collect lots of grass 
and top my potatoes up. Right, you know when you're going to do something and then later on you change your mind? That happens all the time, doesn't it? I want to pull this up today because then potatoes are growing underneath it. So, I want to put a fence here as well to stop the cats from getting there because it will be soil. So, all the carpet I had left I'm just laying it on there for now, just to stop the weeds from coming up. And hopefully it'll stop Boris from going on and I can steal this fence to put there. But it will not be permanent like that. It will just be to keep the potatoes in there and not have all the branches and stuff sticking out like this. So I can walk past without it without it um, getting in my way when I'm walking. So let's get on with that then. I've got to move all them stones. And, and, I believe the potatoes come to here, maybe there. If I get all this cleared up, I can put my courgettes there. And maybe if I get all these roots dug out, which I know I'm not going to be able to dig them out. I can get as much of them out as I can. Um, I can put my courgettes there as well. So let's get on it. Right, so I've taken all that fence up. I've got that carpet down there just to suppress the weeds and stop the cats going on, whether Boris will go on it or not. I don't know, but there's nothing... Um, I'm going to say buried there. There's nothing planted all down there at the minute. But I've got that fence all the way along there, right to the end. And I believe that's where the first potato is. So I've got potatoes all the way up here. Again, when they cut the grass, I shall be putting grass on top and I believe that could be the last potato so if it is I've got all that space there for courgettes so I'd probably get two plants of courgettes in there this little oh I'm shouting then this little patch here reminds me of when I first got this garden and I planted some spring onions along here and I planted them one every 12 inches <laughs> spring onions <laughs> oh dear everybody laughed at me and I planted 10 potatoes and I thought that that would last me a year, a whole year. And I thought that I would be able to give some away. And, and the first five plants that I dug up, I ended up giving it to the guy that owns the house. Because I always give him a big basket of all different kinds of veg. He loves peas. He does a nice pea curry. His wife does. And they bring me a bowl round as well. It's lovely. Pea and potato or curry. It's blooming gorgeous. It is. Right. What I'm... Oh, I can because I, I was going to... I was going to plant that there. But I've planted a, a potato there. So... I'll find somewhere for that to go sooner or later. Right, so when do I start planting courgettes? Have you started planting yours yet or not? Please let me know. I'm going to get rid of the rubbish in them and find 
a big container I might actually be able to get it in this water butt here it's, it's just to save water that's got holes in it that's got holes in it I might even just put them somewhere over there and save them as they are yeah we'll see I've planted I can't say it Alis, Alisum Alisum in there so I'll see what becomes of them a little stone in there there's loads of little stones in this compost that somebody gave me so you know where they're going to go down here down here yeah I've got another bin full of um, water there that's full now so I shall put the lid on it ah and I don't know if you can see as we're walking by but there's lots of green on these now good isn't it really is I can't and um, I can't believe it when you can just push a twig into the ground and a great big bush grows and gives you fruit it's awesome now I've taken all this off of here off of the potatoes the cover I want to take the cover off of these potatoes but I can't because it's bare soil and the cats will go in there. So what I'm going to have to do is try and find some more netting of that fencing stuff. Well, I've got some, but oh, I could use these little bits, couldn't I? I could use these. These will probably be long enough. And again, they might not be. No, just a little bit too short. But I could... I could tie them all together, couldn't I? Right, let's have a go at that. Because I want to take that top off now. It's getting warmer. I don't think we're going to have any more frost. If we do, I can put the cover back on. Right, it's all under there so let's get on it right so I've done that it's not much to show but there we go it's only a tiny fence but hopefully hello seagulls they make a lot of noise don't they um yes I've been able to put the fence all the way around but I've run out there and there, so I've got it all the way across there and round, but I haven't got any round that bit, so hopefully they won't find it. I must get in there and pull that great big weed out as well. Can you see it? There's a few in here, not many. So before I plant me whatever I'm planting in there, I'll pull them out. Right. What can I do now? I'm going to put these bricks away. I've got three there and three there. Right, some of them bulbs have started to flower. I'll show you one. And you tell me what you think it is. I think it's one of them French bluebells. I'm not 100% sure. What do you think it is? Let me know.